Okay guys, we're out here outside the YMCA parking lot where we always start our runs with the Foothills Running Club. Right here next to the main street. Everybody goes up and down. You can see it's starting to get in the dark. And it's so humid out that I've had to wait till now to come out um, to run. Yesterday I had to stop two miles in. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, so I've got my water pack, bandana. I've got knuckle lights. I'm not sure if you guys have seen these or if you use them. But um, they basically go on your knuckles. And it's got a bright lumens. So I uh, filled this up with Gatorade, hopefully to help me fight humidity. We'll stick a couple gel packs in there. And it's pretty humid out, so I don't know how much we're going to get done. I want to do 10 miles, but I'll tell you how we do. Uh, maybe I'll take you with me. If not, I'll see you at the end. Okay, guys, so what did I learn about running in humid weather? The first mile and a half is pretty tough, but after that, I just kept plugging away. And I uh, felt a little better. Second... Uh, two and a half miles. Uh, I had my water pack, but I had Gatorade in it, as I told you. And um, that really seemed to help. So, definitely going to run with that again tomorrow. Um, probably drink a lot of water tonight. I only did four and a half, well, four and a quarter mile. Um, since we ran with the Guts group on. Uh, Saturday and Sunday um, didn't run Monday or Tuesday tried to run yesterday could only do two miles four miles today gonna try to save my legs so I can come back hopefully the weather's a little better tomorrow um, and I can do 10 miles which I'm nervous about because I'm supposed to do 16 on Saturday so I don't want to overdo it but slowly build back my mileage through the week uh, I could probably do a little more right now. I could probably go another four. Um, but uh, my legs are starting to feel it, so we'll just take it easy. Uh, I want to save my energy for that 16 mile. It's really important to hit 16 miles with Savannah coming up in a couple months. I need to have that time on my feet. So uh, I really need to do that 16 consistent miles. Um, that's going to be a milestone for, for really being ready for Savannah. So anyways, hope you're training. Training hard. Don't let the weather beat you down. Just slow down. Take breaks. Get back after it as soon as you can. See you in Savannah.